The film begins in 3600 BC as a powerful mutant called Ansaban Nua rules over ancient Egypt, where he is worshipped as a god. Besides him are four principal followers who have sworn to protect him with their lives. In a ceremony where his consciousness is to be transferred to another body so that he may live for eternity, the public plot to kill him as they have grown weary of his dictatorship. He is ambushed but the public fail to kill him as he is protected by his followers who lay a shield that protects him from the rebels. Several thousands of years pass by and N. Saban Nua awakens in the year 1983. He frees himself from the rebels and befriends a mutant called Storm. N. Saban Nua later learns how humanity has evolved since he has been gone and the way that it depends on weapons to win wars. He decides that humanity has lost its way and plans to reshape the planet back to when he was a demigod. He starts by enhancing Storm's powers and then makes her his first principal follower. They then set out in search of more followers. Meanwhile, a new mutant called Scott realizes that he has the power to shoot beams from his eyes. He does though have no control over it and thus seeks the help of Professor Charles Xavier, who runs a school for the gifted. There, he is offered glasses that are able to contain his powers and allow him to easily see. While at the school, Scott gets to meet Jean Grey, a fellow student who has telepathic abilities and can thus listen to people's minds. They quickly get fond of each other and even form an attraction. N. Saban Nua on the other hand, continues his quest to conquer the world and recruits two more mutants, one named Psylocke and the other Angel, who he then advances their powers, making them more powerful. His final principal follower is Magneto, a mutant capable of controlling metals. Before the five set out on their mission for conquest, Professor Xavier who has the ability to control people's minds, tries to telepathically reach out to Magneto, but N. Saban Nua hijacks the machine that Xavier was using. He then uses Xavier to control the mind of people and forces them to launch all nuclear arsenals into space with the idea that they wouldn't interfere with his plans. He then goes to Xavier's school of the gifted together with his followers and they kidnap Professor Xavier. N. Saban Nua explains to Professor Xavier that he plans to transfer his consciousness to his, so that he can have the power to be everywhere by being in everyone's mind. Xavier secretly communicates with Jean Grey who he tells his location so that she along with other mutants can go after him. The mutants form a group and head over to Cairo in an attempt to rescue the professor. They are though met by his four horsemen with whom they battle each other. They win the initial battle and then pick up the professor ready to leave. They are pursued by two of El Sabanua's horsemen, an aspect that causes their plane to crash, but not before escaping from it. An angered El Saban Nua decides to take out his rage on the mutants who had arrived to rescue the professor, since they interrupted his plan to transfer his consciousness into that of Xavier's. The mutants try to fight him off but to no avail. This forces two of his horsemen, Magneto and Storm to betray him and join Xavier's team into trying to defeat him. They occupy him physically while Xavier battles him telepathically in the astral plane. Xavier tells Jean she is more powerful than she thinks and encourages her to unleash her power on Elsa Banua. She heeds his instructions and unleashes her full power, incinerating Elsa Banua into pieces. The mutants then return to the school of the gifted where Magneto and Jean help repair the school that had been blown to pieces in the ensuing war. Magneto though refuses to stay, telling Professor Xavier that he plans on a journey to help other mutants who didn't have the opportunity to make it to the school. The film ends as the mutants now call themselves X-Men and under the guidance of a shapeshifter called Raven, train for battle using robots called Sentinels. In a post credit scene, men in black suites visit a facility where they retrieve a blood sample marked Weapon X, suggesting that they plan to wage war against the mutants. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more.